So the other day, I was thinking the only people who really read books besides homeschoolers and Christians are little kids and older people. But I wasn't quite sure about this, so I decided to go to the library. The only people who check out books these days are little kids and older people. That's like a 60 year age gap. And I have a pretty good idea of why this age gap exists. What is this? People are constantly on these phones. Like at the park. On the subway. While reading a book. And these phones are taking over the world. And there seems to be something else taking over the world too. Well, yeah that, but that wasn't quite what I was thinking of. Um, I don't know, I'll think of it, I'll think of it tomorrow. And people surround themselves with distractions throughout the day that stop them from reading all sorts of books, including the Bible. I think it's time to put books and phones to the test in the ultimate battle of pros and cons. Phones make great door stuff. Pro! Books don't have batteries that overheat and blow up. Con! If you like relaxation, phones are not for you. Con! Phones are sinister. Hey, hey Goggle, where can I, where can I hide a body? Are you looking for a swamp or a forest or a dump or a pond or a sewer or a sea or a condemned house or a large pit or a closet or- Pro! Books make cookies accessible. Unless you're me. All you have to do is simply say, I need a cookie for my video. And I did. Pro! Phones are too useful. Con! And the final tally is... You expect me to say something funny about this. You expect too much of me. Thank you for viewing this video. If you like this video, please press the like button. And if you hated this video, go ahead and press the like button. Thank you for watching Homeschoolers Anonymous.